Hello everyone, I'm the Arcane Storyteller, and today we're going to do, we're going to start a tutorial on how to draw dynamic poses of dragons. First off, you want to think, what pose am I going to put my dragon in? Is it going to be sitting? Is it going to be standing? Stuff like that. So, first, uh, first we begin with the simple circles that we talked about before, but in this case it's going to get a little more interesting. So, we just lay out our circles, and then these will give us a mental picture on how our dragon is going to be standing, or in this, well, in this case, standing. Next, going to go one. That's a new thing to remember is that the elbows are going to be farther from the viewer, so those circles are going to be smaller. These are for the elbows, and then the feet. For the front are going to be closer to the viewer, so that those circles are going to be bigger. Gives a sense of perspective with your uh, with your drawings pose. And at the hip. Knee, ankle, and then an oval for the back paw or claw. I don't really know the, the words. And connect them. Connect them. There we go. Now we have our simple pose. And sometimes you could use circles as uh, guide, uh, as um, you could use guiding circles to help figure out how the dimensions of like the wings or the tail are going to change as they get farther or closer to the viewer. So like how I am doing here. that and then keep circling like that and it, uh, once you uh, once you get the hang of drawing drawing uh, the wings and the body and stuff like that it gets easier over time and then eventually you won't even need to use the circles just really cool how your brain burns like that. Whoops. Computer doing weird stuff there. And as stuff gets farther away, the circles get smaller. Because uh, the vanishing point of where things end. Then connect the lines. Just 
just doing a little bit of a brush job on the horns there. But you could use the same circle method for the horns. And let's do the eyes. Do some cleanup. And show the center. Draw around that circle. And then what you do is that you just use that mental image that you created using the circles. that you have the base body of your dragon. Now for the tail. What you do for the tail is that whatever direction you want to go these circles are going to direct it. So if it's like winding like this and going over here and going over here since it's coming back to the viewer the circles get larger and then smaller because the tail is starting to end and then then if you, if it doesn't look right do a little bit of a do a little bit of uh, experimentation with how your uh, how you draw around your circles. Let's uh, let's do this again. Let's let's draw this differently. And in some some circle configurations just don't uh, don't work. And you just need to you just need to. Uh, experiment a little bit till it looks till it looks nice. Then again, over time, you'll eventually be able to remember what works and what doesn't work, and then experiment more with that and just grow when you're drawing. There we go. Now we have another simple pose. Now let's work on making a different pose. It's always good to practice that, uh, practice more than once. Alright, let's make another pose. Let's this time have our dragon sitting. So the chest will be out a little bit more. And then the haunch will be further back. And make the circle for the knees, for the hips, for the ankle, and an oval for the back foot. Then a circle for the front shoulder, circle for the elbow, and then an oval for the, for the front foot. Now, 
the thing the thing is is that the front foot will be the front leg will be extended a lot more than the back legs because it's sitting. And let's let's lower those circles here. The circles are a little bit too high. There we go. If you make them a little bit too high, it won't won't look right. You need something important that you have to have is that you have to have this spinal curve of where your dragon's back is going to align with uh, the haunch and the hips and stuff like that. Stuff like that. So let's make the neck. Circle for the snout. arms and the lines for those arms Don't forget your circles for the wings. And your circles for the tail, since in this case the tail is getting closer to the viewer, circles get bigger, and then smaller for the point. Elbow. For the wing. And then connect it like this. And then so on and so forth. So those are two examples on how to make poses for dragons. How to draw uh, draw poses for dragons. Anyway, everyone have a good day, and see you next week.